What is your first thought when you need to stay awake? Is it coffee? If your answer was yes, good choice. If your answer was no, well, you've been missing out on a strong yet refreshing beverage, which leads us to the motive of this presentation. For centuries, coffee has been considered one of the most favorite beverages to people from different backgrounds and cultures. Many countries consider coffee as a valuable good and a permanent asset of world economy. Coffee involves a lot of processing which needs coffee plants and companies to distribute the products. Thus, this creates massive job opportunities to people around the world. The two leading types of coffee are Arabica and Robusta. Arabica is more preferred than Robusta because it has a more pleasing flavor and a softer taste aspect. We decided to build our plant in Ulu Tiram Johor based on these factors. It is in a strategic location located near to the port, airport and expressway. It is located near an industrial complex and city center. There is an opportunity to expand the plant if necessary in the future. The factory is gated and guarded with 24-hour security. It has a stringent environmental requirement and a good climatic condition. All the equipments are placed in a proper way to maintain a high-efficiency workplace. The first step in the manufacturing process is grinding. This is to grind roasted coffee beans that were bought into fine powder. After grinding comes filtration and concentration. We chill the extract sufficient to freezing point of water to remove ice crystals from the coffee. Next comes the recovery of aromatic volatiles. Aromatic scents will be released when the coffee is warmed. Gases can be condensed from the extract after the brewing procedure. The drying process begins with the nozzle at the peak of the drying tower spraying clarified concentrated liquid to evaporate the water to get dry coffee powder. The dry coffee particles are now sprayed with buoyant scents that have been gathered from the previous steps. Instant coffees have a high tendency to absorb moisture from the surrounding. Therefore, packaging must be done in a low humidity condition. It is packed in an anti-moisture container. We will now move on to the market survey. As you can see from the graph, the coffee consumption in Malaysia has a steady increase. Globally, the production of coffee has fluctuated slightly. However, from 2012 all the way to 2017 in Malaysia, the production of coffee has increased. In our plant, we aim to be environmentally friendly. In order to do so, we decided to recycle our dirty water and reuse it in other parts of the process. Besides that, we are also going to be using an air scrubber. This is a portable filtration system that removes particles, gases, and or chemicals from the air. If you are wondering about the waste from our coffee plant, we will be reselling them to be used as biomass. Our aim is to produce 95,000 tons per year. And now, moving on to financial analysis. The major equipment cost is $3.5 million. As for the fixed capital investment, it will be $45.7 million, which consists of $29.7 million direct cost and $16 million of indirect costs. The operating cost per annum is $575 million, with $564 million of variable costs and $11.1 .1 million fixed costs. The total sales per annum racks up to $586 million. Profits per year before tax is $11.1 .1 million. The net profit per year after deducting the tax is $9.3 million per annum. The total investment needed is $45.7 million. The price of our coffee will be 6 cents per gram. It will be packaged into 200 gram bags, therefore making each bag 12 ringgit. I know you're all wondering how long will it take for us to start earning our money? Well, it's gonna take 4.88 years. Created using Powtoon.